Hi, welcome back to the Celtic edition of On The Volley, where I talk about Celtic. Now, I'm here today to talk about the game against St Mirren. We played away to St Mirren and as we all know, we lost 2-0. Now, you know, I've heard a few, few comments about crisis. Crisis, what, you're having a laugh? We lose one game and we're in crisis. Look, we have gone unbeaten for a whole year. 38 games, okay? You know, we were bound to lose one game. And I, you know, I know that broke my prediction. I, predict, I predicted that we'd go the whole season unbeaten. And to be totally honest, I honestly believe that. Um, but there was always a chance that you will lose a game. It happens, it's football. Anyone that plays football now or has played football will know that there are gonna be occasions where you don't perform to your normal levels or your usual levels, however you wanna say it. Look, let's be honest, okay? We weren't at the races. We did not perform to our usual levels. We were poor. We didn't create the chances that we normally create. There wasn't the pressing that there normally is. And you've got to give it to St Mirren. They came out with a game plan and their game plan worked, scored two goals and they won. Let's not forget St Mirren's very, very much improved, yeah? Because if you look at their last three home games before playing us, they'd only scored two goals, but even more importantly, they've only let one in. So their defense has improved a lot as well. The, their whole game has improved. I think that maybe we underestimated them to be totally honest, because let's be honest, he did turn around and say that, you know, the selection of the team was down to him. Now, was he trying to say that he believes he made a mistake? Hold on. That he made a mistake in his selection? I don't know, I don't know. I think that he honestly believes he did. I think that Ange probably thinks he made too many changes for the game against St Mirren and maybe we did underestimate them. Look. Can anyone explain that performance to me? Because I can't, we were poor. I think everyone agrees with that. Um, we probably deserve to lose that game. And um, it is what it is. But again, remember, we've gone a whole year unbeaten. 38 games. Okay, my prediction's out the window, but I really don't care about my prediction about us going unbeaten the whole season. Remember, I made two predictions. That we'll go unbeaten the whole season and that, we'd, that we would win the treble. I'm still gonna stick with winning the treble. I also predicted that we'll score two goals or more in the first half in 60, 70% of the games we play this season. I'm still sticking to that, yeah? It's, it's gonna happen. You're gonna lose a game. It is what it is. I'm sure Ange isn't happy about the result or the performance. I know the players aren't happy about the result or the performance. But what I will say is the players that don't normally get a starting berth had an opportunity to push and claim a place in the starting berth, in the starting 11. And I don't think they took their chances, you know? You know, we can turn around and say the second goal, okay, of St. Mirren, there was a foul on our defender. I think it was on Welsh, okay? Um, referee didn't see it, didn't blow up. But hey, that happens in football. Uh, Jack Amakis had uh, a, a, a header. Uh, could he have done better with it? Maybe. 
you know, headed it to the ground and the keeper got it. Jens did a header, okay, a weak one. Keeper just grabbed it. Taylor took a shot from outside the box, straight at the keeper, to be totally honest. But hey, look, I'm not gonna knock any of the players. I'm not gonna criticize them. I'm not gonna knock or criticize Ange. And the reason for that is because our performance has been outstanding up until now. What are you talking about? We lost to Real Madrid, probably the best team in the world at this current moment. I mean, they're awesome at the moment. So, and we held our own with them for 60 to 70 minutes. Then you've got our game against Shakhtar. Look, we dominated Shakhtar. We just weren't clinical enough. As in the game with Real Madrid, we just weren't clinical enough. Now, I don't mind losing to Real Madrid because we were creating chances, we were doing really well. We drew with Shakhtar, we dominated them. We should have won that game, but hey, you're not gonna score every chance that you get. What I will say though, is against St. Mirren, we didn't see the same performance. It happens, shit happens. You're gonna have off days. That was our off day. Now, were we complacent? Were we too sure of ourselves? And making six changes. Was that down to him underestimating St. Mirren? Hey, who knows? Who knows? Am I worried? Absolutely not. Are most of the fan base worried? Absolutely not. Because if you look at it, if you look at all the comments, you look at the other YouTube channels, everyone's calm about it. Everyone's saying, well, you know, it happens, there's a, a blip that's gonna happen. But then you have your small group, okay, that uh, are saying maybe Ange should be sacked. Yeah, some of the players that we've got are not up to standard, uh, especially Days and Maida. How many times have we heard Days and Maida being criticised or people saying that he's not up to Celtic level? I don't agree with it. I mean, again, I will say, I will repeat what I always say, everyone is entitled to their opinion. Everyone has their point of view and they have the right to express their point of view. Doesn't mean I have to agree with it. So if I don't agree with it, I'll say it. I don't agree with it. Okay, days are made up. I think is instrumental in our team. He brings something different. And this is what Angel always says. Each player brings something different to our team. You know, Moy was criticized. Apparently he's too slow. He's come off the bench on most, in all the last games. This is his first start. And he's done well. I'm not gonna criticize Moy. Like I said, I'm not gonna criticize any of the players. And I don't think we should. We're gonna lose games. We lost this one. Let's move on. Look, we've got a break now. Until the 1st of October. We come back, we play Motherwell. I don't think we're gonna make the same mistakes. I don't think Ange is going to make as many changes as he did this time around. And to be totally honest, I wouldn't have made six changes, not against St. Mirren. Oh, two changes, maybe three. We have to rest our players, we have to rotate them, we can't burn them out. 100% agree. Crisis? What crisis? You're having a laugh. There is no crisis. Remember, one game. 38 games unbeaten before this. Nothing to worry about as far as I'm concerned. We'll come back. We'll move on. And as, say, as Anne says, okay, we're not the finished product. We need to keep on improving. 
and that is the goal of this team. Now, I see a comment where someone said, uh, oh, maybe Angie's mind is on Brighton. Ah, oh, come on, please, please, Brighton. What, what? Seriously? Angie Postacoglu, Brighton. Come on. I mean, the guy has come out already and said he wants to create a legacy. He's fully committed to Celtic. And like I've said before on my previous podcast, he normally stays an average of three seasons per team. So I believe that Andrew will stay with us for at least three seasons. Because he also said something else. Don't judge me on my first season. Judge me on my second. So the second season is when he starts okay really creating and molding his team the third season boom is where you'll see his team finally clicking because they haven't clicked yet and that is what angie's trying to say they're still not the finished product there are still areas to improve so as far as i'm concerned the loss is a blip okay you know you're going to lose some games not many in our case and i'm sticking with my prediction not the one where we're going to win go the whole season unbeaten because that's out but the fact that we're going to win okay clean sweep clean sweep we're going to win the treble i'm sticking with that i'm sticking with my prediction that we will score two goals or more okay in 60 70 percent of our games this season in the scottish premiership I fully 100% believe that. I have 100% faith in the team and all the players. I'm not criticizing any of them. I think they all bring something to the team. And 100% behind Ange Postacoglu. And what I'm glad to see is like 98, 99% of the fan base. We're all aligned in our way of thinking. We all think the same. So as far as I'm concerned, that's all I've got to say. Wow. It is what it is. Remember, you heard it here first. Clean sweep, Celtic boy. Say hi. It's my YouTube channel. Another <laughs> Celtic boy. We're in Rome, okay? And I, what, this is what I love to see. Celtic in Rome. All right, mate. Anyway, listen. From me, Sha, I'm out.